What's going on everyone? Check me out here and today I'm joined by my beautiful nieces Zaria and Taylor. We're going to be learning about electric vehicles and the advancements that General Motors are making in the field. And we're going to do that by having a little challenge. Mm. Challenge. <laughs> and big thank you as well to General Motors for sponsoring this video. Mm. So basically the challenge that we're going to have is I'm going to take turns asking you each one question. Okay. For each question you get right, you get one point and the one with the most points at the end will get the grand prize so with that said feel free to play along as well take your score and see how well you do against zaria and sailor here <laughs> but i don't expect anyone to really know anything this is just like educated guesses as you say um what you feel it might be but hopefully by the end of it you learn something new from your guesses so i'm not even going to give you any tidbits of information about General Motors. You're just gonna learn as we go. Sound good? Yes. Y'all excited? Yep. Are y'all ready? Yes. Let's go. Here we go, girls. Yes. General Motors, true or false, all right? General Motors is committed to a vision of zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion. Would you say that's true or false? True. True, high five, good job, it is true, Za. So Zaria has one point on the board, mm -hmm. uh, one point on the board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's talk about that a little bit because I know we throw out some terms there that might be familiar, might not be familiar. So zero emissions, do you have any idea that like totally foreign to you what that might mean? They're foreign. Very foreign. Mm -hmm. okay, so zero emissions basically refers to an engine, a motor, process, or other energy source that emits no waste products that pollute the environment or disrupt the climate. And then zero congestion. What do you think that might mean when it comes to cars? Mm. Idea? All right, totally fine. So you know how people are on the road and they're stuck in traffic oh. and it's congested? Mm -hmm. It's gonna help reduce that. So that's what they're kind of trying to aim for when they use those two specific terms. So isn't that kind of cool that General Motors is working towards creating a safer and smarter a more sustainable way for people to get around? Yes. I think so too. So let's move on to your question. Say true or false, all right? General Motors will be the first automaker to use an almost completely wireless battery management system for electric vehicles. I think that's true. I think that's true? I think, I think you're right. <laughs> Good job. You got a point on the board too. Yes. So Sailor has a point and Zarya has a point. I wonder, how are you all doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, here's your question. On average, do you think it costs more to drive an electric vehicle or less to drive an electric vehicle? Why? Actually, it's mm -hmm. less. Good try though, very good try. So it costs less. So the electricity required to drive 15,000 miles per year in a compact EV costs an average of $546, while the amount of gas required to drive the same distance costs $1,255, or 130% more. So, Sayla, question for you. So what do you think costs more when it comes to maintenance? an electric powered vehicle or a gas powered vehicle mm -hmm. for maintenance. Maintenance meaning how, how you upkeep the car. Gas. You think it costs more for the gas? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. You got a point on the board. Yeah. That is right, Salem. If maintained according to the automaker's recommendations, EVs cost $330 <laughs> less than a gas powered car, a total of $949 annually. All right, Salem. Mm -hmm. So for this next question, mm -hmm. General Motors has the ability to stack battery modules, vertical or horizontal, and it's unique in the industry because it allows for a flat cabin floor and more interior room than comparable electronic vehicles. Is that true? That is true. Uh -oh. Awesome job, <laughs> high five for you. You're like, okay, that sounds too, too, too factual there. Okay. Sailor. General Motors has not been able to enable the reuse or recycling of 100% of return batteries. That's false. Oh, you said that with like confidence, but oh no, that's, that's, that's not true. No way that's true. You're right, girl. High five on that. Good job. So General Motors has, in fact, has a plan to recycle or reuse all lithium ion batteries. We talked about a lot today and hopefully you learned something from it. 
But um, based upon what we learned, I actually have a battery operated DIY car. And this is something that we built a little earlier. like a mini electric vehicle so we have our what here girls our wheels. and then we have down here at the bottom what are those <laughs> forgot those those, yeah. are, those are the axles uh, oh I thought <laughs> so you this, <laughs> that's how the um wheels turn and then we have our what over here i'm sure you remember that one our pulley yep we have the pulley on the side and then at the top is where we actually have our battery our power switch and our motor. motor, exactly. So when these things combine, the car can actually move just running off of a battery instead of gas. So that's the benefit of a battery operated vehicle. You don't have to worry about gassing up, things like that. You just charge your battery just like you charge your phone. So all in all, do you think when you get of age to drive, you think you might get an electric vehicle or a gas vehicle? Oh yeah, electric vehicle. Electric? Yes. Yeah, I think electric might be the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> but if you wanna learn more about General Motors, they actually launched their STEM summer school series, Electrifying Engineering on YouTube. And yeah, I think that's gonna conclude the video for today. So thank you, Sayla and Zaria for participating yes. and also doing a little bit of trivia. We have, let's see, we didn't tally our points yet, <laughs> but it's very dangerously close. <laughs> so it looks like Sayla won this one, but I think you both did an awesome job. So you, get, job. you know what? Ah, oh, team player. Gotcha. And you both get a grand prize. Oh. So let's head off to get that now. Yes. Ice cream, maybe? So till next time, y'all, as always, thank you for taking the time out to let me, us tech, tech you. you out. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. They know it though. Yes. <laughs> they know it. Good job, girls. All right, we're out, y'all. Till next time. <laughs>